Hi, my name is Sarah Ouled, and I'm here to show you how Google Threat Intelligence can help you with your threat hunting. Let's start by creating a threat risk profile for our company. In this case, we use our geographical location and sector. Google Threat Intelligence returns a list of potential actors, campaigns, and malware families generated by a proprietary ML model. For example, FIN6 focuses on targeting campaigns similar to us. Its report provides us with lots of useful details including associated campaigns, malware toolsets, vulnerabilities exploited, TTPs, relevant reports and IOCs historically used by the actor. Now, there are several malicious campaigns suggested by the AI as relevant. We can see that the malware used in the first one is also used in another campaign. We will focus our investigation in making sure we have a good understanding of the malware family to minimize our exposure. We can learn more about the malware family by visiting its curated collection, where we find a description, references, indicators, telemetry, and commonalities. Let's see how this helps us understand how attackers leverage the malware. In the IOCs tab, we can see all indicators associated with the malware's activity. We can use them to improve our defenses, investigate potential threats, or hunt additional indicators. You can always subscribe to an existing collection and get notified whenever a new indicator is included. The commonalities key is to identify patterns to improve our hunting and detection. For instance, we can track the malicious infrastructure used by threat actors in this campaign and use this knowledge for proactive continuous protection. The malware uses a command and control server to interact with. This data is stored in its configuration, which happily is automatically extracted. Thanks to this information, we will actively track any new activity from attackers and deploy appropriate defenses. All this is easily automated. The campaign's details we initially checked describe this malware as capable of credential theft. This is confirmed in the TTP section based on dynamic analysis. The discovering collection tactics show the malware exploring directories and system information for further exfiltration. And defense evasion tactics shows process injection, obfuscation, and file deletion. It establishes persistence by registry wrong keys or startup folder, which is valuable information we can use right away for internal detection and monitoring. The Rules tab shows CrowdSource Yara, Sigma, and IDS matching indicators. We can choose from the most relevant ones. For instance, based on the number of IOCs, export and adjust as needed to integrate in our security stack. This is a very easy way to turn insights into action. Additionally, Yara rules can be used as a starter for further threat hunting investigations. For instance, this set contains a rule to identify Dargate samples. We can use it for retro hunt to find more samples in the whole corpus, or in a live hunt to be notified every time a new sample in Google Threat Intelligence matches our rule. You can share rules to give visibility to your whole organization. This is just one way you can use Google Threat Intelligence to create a profile on what might be a threat to your organization, getting a better understanding of risks and continuously track relevant malicious activity in just a few minutes.